Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's Victor from VEUniverse.com bringing to you the best tips and strategies on how to grow your wealth. On this channel, we talk about how to make money. We talk about investing in the stock market. We talk about investing in bonds. We talk about real estate. We talk about small business. We also talk about general online money. So this is the channel to be veuniverse.com. Wouldn't you like to know how to withdraw funds from your stock brokerage account? Wouldn't you like to know after you've spent some time, you've invested your money, once it starts ripping off, you start making money on the platform, wouldn't you like to know how to transfer that money back into your maybe checking account or savings account or CD account as some people might say? Well, today we're going to talk about how to generally withdraw money, how to take funds out of a stock brokerage account. And this is pretty much general to every brokerage. It has just the same formula on how to take money out of the brokerage account. Plus, I'm going to respond to two hot questions, the two hot questions of the day. Because moving forward, I have my subscribers who are loyal to me. They are coming day in, day out. And when they drop hot comments and in the form of a question, then I will respond to those. So I have two hot questions that I'm going to respond to today. But before we proceed, just, you know, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers who keep coming in day in, day out to watch my videos. I do appreciate. For those of you who are here for the first time, please do me a favor. Please pause and press on the red subscribe button. Yeah, when you press on it, it will change from red to gray. That's an indication that you subscribe. And just wait, wait, one last favor. There is a bell icon when you press on that yeah it will notify you anytime i upload a new video so again thanks for subscribing and i really do appreciate you coming back day in day out to watch my video so the two burning questions that i'm gonna be responding today the first question is coming from also a YouTube content creator and she has an amazing channel so you might want to go there and subscribe she talks about beauty she talks about lifestyle she does reaction video amazing channel go there and said hey Victor referred me to you and um, show some love she has a pretty nice channel so her name is Tukumbo Latona TV So She left the comment. She said Victor congratulations on your profit First time hearing about Nicola. Is it like Bitcoin? I think it's a lot of them out there and one can really decide which is better So that's a very good question. I'm gonna respond to that question The second question comes from this health yeah, so this helped also a content creator, so you might check the channel out, show some love, subscribe, and let them know you're coming from VE Universe. So the question is interesting. Buying low and selling high. Quick question. How do you withdraw money you make from stock trading platform? In your case, Questrade, how do you withdraw? And you know what? This is kind of a coincidence because I, as a matter of fact, was thinking to create a video on how to withdraw funds from a stock platform account. But this came at the right time. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine drove all the way to my house last weekend just to show them how to utilize Questrade and transfer money back into your account. So those are the two hot questions that I'm going to be responding today. But the first question is, I'm going to hop back to Tukumbo's question, which is very interesting. She said, it's the first time that I'm hearing about Nicola. 
She watched the video where I made a whooping $7,000 profit from one stock in less than two days. So she was, her question is, is it like Bitcoin? Well, that's a very good question, Tukumbo. The point is that Bitcoin is also an investment venture. Bitcoin is completely different from Nikola. Nikola is just a company. With company, what happened is that they chopped the company into small pieces called shares. It's just like I did a video, which I'm going to link it here, where I split the company into slices of pizza, where you take one, Blessing takes one, Glory takes one, Peter takes one. We now become part owner of that company. So those are common shares. It's like you're owning a piece of a company. On the other hand, Bitcoin is just cryptocurrency. It's a hypothetical currency without even a central bank. It's just floating in the air. Some countries don't even regulate Bitcoin. So, but some people have made it big. Don't get me wrong. People have made it big in Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is it's not something you can feel or you can touch. People prefer to invest or investors said it's advisable you invest in companies because you can touch them you can feel them if you're in london you can buy shares of freshco or tesco you can touch it that's in the london stock exchange if you are in new york you can get walmart nasdaq you can get amazon so you get a share of this company if you are in nigeria the nigerian stock exchange you can get glow or mtn you get a piece of those company you can buy the company from 10 and after a while, it appreciates. So what happened? It appreciates to 20 or 30. When you sell, you make that profit. And again, when you also have that in mind, when you buy that company, when the company is profitable, they also offer you what is called dividend. So you receive money in two ways. I did a video about the two ways of making money in the stock market, which is one, by growth, and the second, it's by dividend. So that's how it works. But, you know, just check that I have some of my videos where I talk about how to make money in the stock market. But better still, if you want to get into the stock market or you have an interest to know about the stock market, my book, which is The Investor. This is The Investor's Handbook, Investor's Insight, Growing Well Passively. Chapter number four is exclusive, exclusive about the stock market. For beginners, someone with no idea about the stock market, when you read chapter 4, it takes you from the beginning till the point where you place your first share. It even tells you how to open an account. It tells you how to make money. It tells you what are the regulations. It tells you the different ways of trading on the stock market. So it gives you all those information. Again, I'll link it in my description below. And I also have one on my community tab. You might want to check that out. So I think that pretty much answers your question. So on a summary, Bitcoin is cryptocurrency, which is without a central bank. It's a hypothetical currency, which you cannot feel or touch, but people have made it big. On the other hand, Nikola is a company. It is like Tesla, it's like Amazon, it is like Google, it is like Apple, it is like Facebook. You all they split it up, you buy your shares and you make money. That's what we call passive, inv passive income. You invest the money with time, it grows, and that's how you make money. So that answers your question. Very good question. I like that. So now let's go to the second question, which is coming from this help, which is how do you withdraw money from your stock brokerage account? So again, as we just as i said earlier we did a recap you make money in the stock market in two ways growth which is like equity in real estate when you buy today for 10 after a couple of months it goes to 30 when you sell you make some profit and then second the second way way number two is dividend companies pay their shareholders when they make profit it's kind of a, a compensation for their loyalty when you are loyal with a company, they want to compensate you. Because there are a lot of companies out there you can decide to sell your share and buy, buy from another company. And the, the point is that 
the money that you buy the share that's the fund that is running the company so companies want to keep they want to keep their shareholders that's why they make that payment so they pay you the dividend sometimes they pay you uh, quarterly or semi-annually I've even seen cases where they are paying you monthly so they pay you monthly dividends but now how to withdraw money from the brokerage account which I said it's pretty much general even if you are with TD Ameritrade or Fidelity or Vanguard or Robinhood or M1 Finance or Webull Platform or Questrade that I'm going to use right now it's pretty much the same way. So the brokerage I'm using is Questrade. And why am I using Questrade? One, Questrade is international. I have people in Germany, people in Nigeria, Cameroon. People are opening an account. You can trade anywhere you are. South of Johannesburg, South Africa. You can trade anywhere you are. They have a good, very good customer service. They have commission free on ETFs. They are protected by the Canadian Insurance Protection Fund. Last but not the least, they have a positive campaign right now. They offer you free dollars of free trade when you open a free account. And when you open an account, it gives you the opportunity to use their platform before you even start funding your account. So that's something you might want to consider. I'm going to drop a link in the description also, and you can also check it on my community tab. But to talk about how to withdraw money, I'm going to hop over to my desktop. I'm a practical investor. I want to show you everything that I'm doing. If I go into my account, I will show you how it moves from the platform back into your checking account, CD or savings account. So let's hop over. So right now I'm right in front of my Quest Trade um, account, my $33,000 watt um, Quest Trade um, portfolio. I'm just going to move through positions, order, execution, just like I'm doing. But today we're going to talk about how to withdraw funds from the account. You can see I have an all-time profit of 7, 000, over $7,000. Pretty much that was the profit I made the, the other time. My account is sitting at $33,000 33, and change. Uh, but for me to be able to withdraw funds, I will have to go to, I will have to go to accounts. So all you do is this is your portfolio. You come to trading, and then you click on accounts. When you click on accounts, it brings up a completely different window. And you can see on the right side, it have some quick links, quick links that will take you anywhere you want to go. So as you can see again, this is all what I've got. I have a total cash um, in bracket, you know, I have a total market value. I have a total equity, $33,000 and 705. But now if I want to, withdraw funds. All I have to do is move over to the right and click on withdraw funds. When you click on withdraw funds, it brings you to a completely new window where that's where you have to go to execute. So you can see my account right here. It's an individual margin account. And when you scroll down, it gives you a breakdown. It gives you your cash in Canadian and US. And just so you know, with Quest Trade, when you trade on Questrade, you are trading both on Canadian dollars and U.S. dollars because you are buying U.S. and Canadian stocks. So you have the total equity. So this is cash. The cash value, this is the total equity. This is the total main excess where you can withdraw from. Uh, it gives you the option to choose which currency you, you want to withdraw. So you want to withdraw in Canadian or U.S. dollars. So for today, let's go with, uh, we'll go with Canadian. So I'll make it, let's say I make it to withdraw $1,000. When you click on it, it now gives you three options on how to withdraw. Remember, when I did an account on how to fund, which I'm going to drop the link, you can fund by direct depositing from your checking account, 
which is electronic transfer. In that case, there is no fees. So the same way as you funded your account, you can withdraw back to that same account. That's the first way. The second way is you can do wire transfer. Wire transfer where you are transferring to an international bank. You are transferring to, um, let's say you are transferring to, to Europe, you are transferring to Asia, you are transferring to Africa. In that case, you might need a zip code or a routing number. When you click on that, it will give you that option. And then you also have international. In that case, they are charging you $20. There is a fee. And you can also do that through your bank. And then you also have the international. International where, again, you need a, Z, you need a, a SWIFT code or you, you need a routing number. In that case, they have like a withdrawal um, form that you have to fill, you know. But let's start with uh, option number one, which is electronic transfer. Electronic transfer is pretty straightforward. It's pretty much the same way. So you have most of the bank information listed. So you come to the drop down and you choose your bank. My case, I was dealing with Bank of Montreal. You can just choose it. And once you choose it, it automatically comes with the institution number. You now enter your transit number and your bank account, which those are information that you have. You can also go with Scotia Bank, and you do the same. You can drop down. So there are all the banks, you know, these are local. So you have all the banks. You have Korean Exchange Bank. You have Canadian Tire Bank. You have Tangerine. You have Altena Bank. So you do pretty much the same. So you just enter the transfer number, which they are all on. When you look at your account, it gives you institution number, transfer number, and your bank account. So once you enter that, pretty straightforward, you transfer it to back to that account. The second is wired. With wired transfer, it's when you want to send out of the country or something like that. In that case, again, with wired transfer, you will need which bank are you from which bank do you want to make that wire transfer? And in that case, they charge you $20. So you enter the same information and you do. Same thing, if you want to do international, you do the same. You might want to fill the form. In this case, it takes one to three business days. In the case of wire transfer, it also takes one to three business days. For electronic, which is direct deposit, in that case, it might just take one business day. Or if you already have a void check or a direct deposit from this account, you, you know, this case, this, it, it won't take, it might also take one to three days, but it will be, because it's local, so it will be, it will come up very fast. So yeah, so that's pretty much, it's uh, direct, the same way you transfer, the same way you take out, especially when you've made money on your account, you want to know how to go about and cash out. So that brings us pretty much to the end of brings us to the end of this session. If you find the video valuable, please give me a like. It's a new to give. Give me a thumbs up. Please share the video. If you have any comments, drop it down below. If it's a hot question, I might respond on the next video. Again, thanks, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.